I know you guys have been asking for another episode of Get to Know a Pro for quite a while, and I'm happy to say it's finally back. And today we've got a special guest that some of you may have seen featured on the channel lately. His name is Bambi, who recently won a tournament called The Search, which resulted in his team getting a contract with an organization for the next RLCS. It's probably the most unique way a team has ever been signed in Rocket League, and what's even cooler is that Bambi scored the winning goal to secure the contract. Be sure to check out his socials in the description and give him a follow. Today we're jumping into some casual matches and diving into more than just Rocket League with the questions and finding out a bit more about the newest pro on the block. This video was pretty chill, so hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. Alright, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll start off where we left off in the last episode. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so how and when did you get into Rocket League? How and when, so yeah. uh, I got into Rock League back in 2015, I guess, but um, I I was playing on my friend's PS4, he actually had the beta, so I was playing um, the beta on his PS4 and he was like one of my like soccer friends. Oh yeah. But um, I didn't have a PS4 at the time, so I never got the chance to, to actually play Rock League like by myself on my own so you just like play whenever he had like he was yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> whenever i went over his house i'd basically play rock league wow um, and you just got like hooked off of that yeah basically yeah <laughs> wow so how, so how many hours do you have in the game i don't know if, i don't think that's one of my questions um, but just a bonus question like, I guess. let me see i have almost six thousand oh damn so close 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 six thousand i mean you obviously well there's a lot of people who are like a lot more hours but you're you know at the level of pros which is really cool to yeah, see yeah yeah it's because I feel like most of my hours is just like a lot of like scrimmaging and like I, I put like good use into my hours. So. Right. That makes sense. Oh, look, you got, you got some fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to get you some fans as well. That's the whole point of this. <laughs> <laughs> so the next question I have for you is what got you hooked onto Rocket League compared to other esports games? Like, did you play any other esports before or? Um, not really. I mean, the only other game I'd played like kind of competitively it was like Destiny, but like there's no like. Oh yeah, I've, so like, I've it, played a bit of sure. Destiny competitive. It's kind of fun. Look, like, I, I know yeah, what you mean. Yeah. Basically, I, I got into it because I used to play a lot of soccer growing up. That's like a common thing. Like uh, I think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like uh, Omar was like that. He, he used to play soccer, but he got an injury that he couldn't play soccer anymore. Yeah, and I, played, uh, I think Musty well, too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I played yeah, soccer. I remember him saying, but um, yeah, soccer is like my main sport, so. So I mean, pretty, is it? They do say that Rocket League is more like hockey. Do you agree with yeah, that? Yeah, it is. I, I kind of, it's a mixture of both soccer and Rocket League, but I could definitely see why it's like hockey. Right. But because it's kind of like enclosed. Yeah, and, and I feel like the passes are lower, like in quick. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the passes yeah. in, in soccer are a little more prolonged. Oh, nice shot. It is true. Thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, next question I have for you is, how'd you come up with your username? Funny thing is, I, I said this when I was on like the stream for the search thing. Oh yeah. But um, I actually didn't come up with with my name. Oh. Uh, my, <laughs> Wait, what the heck? My name. Yeah. Um, my buddy Risk. Um, my. I yeah, you talked about him in uh it, in the last episode. We were yeah, doing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and him were playing, and like I would like switch names like crazy. I, one of my first names actually was Scrub. Like <laughs> was straight up Scrub. Oh damn! Like, the, the you guys like, can't the scrub, do that. Yeah, the Scrub Killer guy is like taking my name, but I was pretty bad at the time. I, did I ever uh, meet you when you were like named Scrub or anything? Nah, no. definitely not. Me, I, what I would do, I was, I was like, I would just do like freestyles. I, I wasn't like very competitive. Oh yeah. I, yeah, I used to be kind of like a freestyler a little bit. But, yeah, I never um, really, I never really, I've told, I've talked, talked about this before, but I've never really, like, like, purposely freestyled. It's more just, like, kind of mm -hmm. having fun in, like, casual matches and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, you, like, I, full on did yeah, freestyling. Yeah, I was, like, I think I mentioned this, too, but I was, like, I was, like, the, the Pulse MK, and then Risk was, like, the, the Jazer, basically. Oh, yeah. And we would make, like, videos and stuff. You were, like, the setup guy. But, oh, you made YouTube videos. Yeah. Is there, like, anywhere we can I, find I did, these? I didn't make, I didn't make, but, oh. yeah, you could go to Risk channel. Okay. He stopped posting, but like a while back, like four years ago, he had like 10k subs. Oh wow, he's, yeah, he's still, popping off. He still off. has like 10. He still has like 10k subs. He still oh, like, yeah. goes on like Twitter and stuff. And he texted me the other day. He's like, "Yeah, if you ever want to start YouTube, just just let me know because he's good with like thumbnails and stuff." Oh, like let's that. go. Yeah, you should. You, honestly, you should. You have a really good voice yeah. for like like broadcasting, like on stream and stuff. I think. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> has anyone any has anyone said that to you before? Because I feel like you have like a really clear voice. Kind, kind of. 
And I, I mentioned like <laughs> I mentioned the squishy muffins comment in the last oh, one, like yeah. how you're like a little lower than a squishy. And everyone was like, now I can't unhear it. So <laughs> that's oh, kind of funny. Yeah, I never got that before, but I guess I could kind of see it. So you just, yeah, so you back onto the the, the username, you just have Bambi because you just like changed names. Oh yeah, and then... well it's because, yeah, yeah. So my name, my OG name was like Scrub, I guess. Yeah. And then I'm like, there's no way I'm going to, I'm going to do like Scrub to the Scrub killer. So then Risk is like, he just randomly said like, yo, you should change it to Bambi. I'm like, Bambi. I'm like, maybe. And then, and then I'm like, I should probably add like the two eyes. Cause that's like what everybody's using. Like freaky, sticky, right. like all, like all those people like sicky. So I'm like the two eyes is kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, it works. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I swear some of getting like getting no noticed in Rocket League is having a name that isn't terrible to say. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to say, uh, like soccer fan 29 like Bro, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you could like, be a I don't know, pro i don't know if you know like um hockey do you know hockey um the, oh yeah Maybe. like h-o-c-e or h-o-c-k-e yeah yeah. yeah yeah his name used to be like like hockey ducks like 29 or something like <laughs> wait that. i think <laughs> i remember that name actually yeah yeah, yeah 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 okay that's funny and then yeah he changed it there's other people like like didn't want mike's name used to be something weird i don't know uh Whatever. one oh who was that mac and cheese guy? Do you remember that guy? Mac and cheese? Uh, it was no something. Clue. I don't know. Anyway. I, re I remember this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean we, could, we could talk about that all day. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I've yeah, told my true. story about my name quite a few times, but uh, I don't know if you What's know the it. Story behind it. Yeah. Uh, know. So, like, I used to play Minecraft a lot. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like building stuff, evidently. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have a bit of evidence of that on my channel. But yeah. I. I used to play these maps in Minecraft called like CTM or like Complete the Monument, mm -hmm. where you'd basically go through dungeons and stuff, uh, and have to collect like an item, and it was mm -hmm. like pre-built, like someone built it, um, and I built one. It took me a year and a half to make, but there was this guy named Vex who made Damn, a bunch of them. The... Yeah, I was like really young. I just it's pretty much all I did was just like come home <laughs> and listen to music and make that. But um, this guy named Vex, B E C H S. Um, mm -hmm. he had a map named this, uh, Lethemir. like Lethemir, yeah. Right. And it was oh, like, there cool. were, yeah, there were like four different versions of the map and it was like randomly generated. Well, not randomly generated, but they were all different in a way. And, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I liked the idea of it. I was like, I'm going to try and use no, this. No, Lethemir is definitely like one of the coolest names I've, I've heard before. Yeah, yeah I, I can't even take credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, he's, he's a big inspiration, uh, inspiration of mine actually because of, mm -hmm like map making and stuff and how much work he put into it so i would say that's like a big reason of why like i do what i do in rocket league which is kind of cool but yeah that's back onto you <laughs> <laughs> don't want to go about the, no, the whole cool time yeah, cool yeah that's neat um at what moment did you think you could go pro in rocket league um this is kind of hard yeah because like i guess it just happened yeah i mean if you kinda, consider like I mean, under a contract yeah. i mean i was in rls before yeah, Which were you I, under I an kinda, org? Uh, I was for one of the C. I was in two R R RLRSs, but um, one of them was just like under the Zookeeper's name. Okay. And the other one was under RBG. Oh, sweet. Yeah, we did bad on those though. Oh, yeah, RBG was like, it was after like Aeon, Rapid, yeah, yeah, and yeah, Memory left. Yeah, 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 or yeah. Bass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a whole situation. Yeah, we don't want to talk about uh, that. We don't have to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, this is your first like pro RLCS journey, basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. If I, you I don't say so. Yeah, like RLRS is like separate, I guess. Yeah. In a way. I would consider it more like semi-pro. Yeah, semi-pro. Like yeah. it's like where you're yeah. just getting into the pro scene. Um, yeah. But yeah, now you're now you're full full on RLCS pro. Must feel good. But uh, okay, so the next question I have for you is: Who would you say was your biggest inspiration when improving, or is still your inspiration, like pro or otherwise? Um, I would probably have to say, I mean. They're not really pro, but probably like John Salmon and Wuffles. Oh, back sweet. In the day. Yeah. Yeah, because I used to watch like a lot of their videos and they used to be like a lot better than me. And I'm like, Damn, <laughs> you're not I afraid got, to admit like, that, yeah. I guess. No, yeah, like honestly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, when they, you first start off, everyone's like a noob, of, so it makes sense. They used to be better than like a lot of people. They were, but, yeah, um, they were actually like more solid than, than people give them credit for. Like I watched, yeah. I watched uh, John Sandman's uh, like RLCS the movie video lately. Mm hmm. It seems to come on randomly after a video plays, but <laughs> they were actually pretty solid. Like they actually rotated no, really yeah. well. Yeah, they weren't bad. F two. <laughs> I feel like it's more of a meme that people just like say they're bad or they were yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. 
But they were better than like 90% of the player base mm -hmm. at the time anyway. Yeah, 100%. And then so that was a thing that they were better than me and my friends. And then eventually like I started playing a lot and I got better than them. And I noticed and I'm like, damn, like I'm getting Improving better fast. Like, pretty quickly. Yeah. So I'm like, maybe I could maybe do something in this game. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's like that's kind of what like the same similar story for me is I just realized I was moving like I was meeting people that were streaming the game and they've been streaming for like hundreds of hours and I was like mm -hmm. matching to their level and I was like oh okay maybe I should like put more time into this <laughs> like I was in school at the time still and I don't yeah. know if you if you were in school or still are or... yeah I still am in, I'm in college but are you doing collegiate rocket league at all yeah I am yeah okay sorry so... I, I am not too familiar with the collegiate no yeah I don't know. not a lot of people are. But it is, it's fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty hype. I just like, this, like the school aspect to it a lot. Yeah, it's cool. Like, I like, get to represent my school and stuff. And do you like, so. do you guys like scrim other schools a lot? I mean, usually I try not to because it gets in like my other scrim schedule. Right, it's a lot of scrims to do a lot. So yeah, it's a lot, but... I guess as long they... as you're individually improving in your own scrims. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, what's the next question I got? Okay, what's your team history? So, I mean, you spoke a little bit about this already. Yeah, um, but so... Like, I guess from start to finish, if you can remember them all. No, yeah, I can, I can remember because I've teamed with pretty much the same people for like a while. But the, my first ever team was me, Risk, and um, and Tool. That was like the first ever team I've, I had in Rock League. And it's like pretty much and, pretty similar to that already. Yeah, well, actually, no, I'm lying. That was my first team. My first oh, team. okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my first team was me, Risk, and pretty sure it was pretty sure it was faded I'm not, like if I'm oh yeah like I is that the IHY faded or whatever like yeah, yeah yeah I'm trying to sorry I'm, I'm just memeing right now no you're just <laughs> I'm kind of just like faded. flying around listening to you so. <laughs> yeah but I think it was it was either faded or dino it might have been dino Oops. actually but I remember back in the day we were talking like a bunch of me and risk would talk so much trash to, to dino and he would talk trash like oh like, right, all the wow. time you know dino right yeah, like D I D I N O, just like the yeah, yeah, yeah. the memer, the meme lord himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we were we were looking for like a uh, we were L F one for someone. Oh yeah. For like the first like R R S that they were having. And uh, and Dino like reached out to us. It's pretty funny. But that was my first team. And after Ooh. that, I think it was a faded one. Me risk faded. Did you guys have like specific then, names or anything or like team names? Yeah. If you remember them. <laughs> the dino the dino one was like it was something kind of like perverted and then they made us change our name because we made like top 32 <laughs> so then they changed it to like hot like cheetos or something oh i remember uh, that name actually yeah i wasn't like <laughs> too familiar with like the top 32 teams but like what yeah, season yeah. was that that was oof. i have no clue if i gotta be honest it's, it's been, been so been many like, seasons now it's, it's yeah, so hard to no remember clear. i have no clue Oh, I'm pre you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh! oh. No. <laughs> He's got you. Nope. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you have pretty extensive history that you don't even remember it yourself. That's... Yeah. Gotta go to the wiki real quick. <laughs> That's true. Um, so, yeah, and then I'll just go really quick to the like, sure. next few teams, but... Uh, then it was me, Risk, Tool, and then me, Tool, and Porklet, and then... I remember him. Yeah, and then me, Tool, and um, and J Bot now. I definitely forgot some, but like whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's a classic Rocket League moment. It's just yeah. like, I feel like teams switch up so much, like the roster changes. They do. It's just like they yeah, do. it's crazy. And it's all obviously all just in like, you know, still friends with everybody. Yeah, of course. Um, next question I have is: If you didn't play Rocket League competitively, would you still be into the game? Like if you. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about this earlier and literally like I still have so much fun playing the game and it's literally like the only game I play basically and it's I just have I just have a lot of fun playing it and yeah of course the competitive side definitely adds like a lot more like fun to it because right. I, love, I love playing competitively and I've always been like pretty competitive myself so like anything you do basically like sports yeah and everything. yeah I used to be really competitive with my friends in, uh, like, uh, what was it called? Track and field? I don't, oh, know if you guys okay, have, yeah. I don't know if you guys have that where you are, but... No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to do track and field my senior year. I was, um, I was, like, 
I did like the 100 meter dash. I was pretty good at it. Yeah, I was more of the endurance guy. And uh, yeah, I could not do that. No, you don't like you like the short spurts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I was like I was the uh, the long distance in, uh, endurance. Uh, shot put was another one of my favorites. And uh, what's the last one? Oh, you missed. Um, oh, what was it? Oh, tri uh, triple jump and high jump. I love those. Ooh. But I think that's because I was like a Highland dancer, so I just mm -hmm. I like to do things with my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Cause even shot puts a lot of your legs, like pushing yeah, out of it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I actually did like I didn't do shot put, but I did discus a little bit. Oh, I, discus! I, pretty, I, don't, like, I don't think we had discus where we were at. Discus was pretty fun, not yeah. gonna lie. But it's like we had to throw the discs really far. Or something? Yeah, yeah. It's because I had like pretty like long arms. So had like, you like, lost them? Did you lose? <laughs> <laughs> did you lose your arms? <laughs> I had. <bro. laughs> Or was it, yeah, you know just a, I mean. was it just a case of the fact that like you were young and your arms grew first, like twice as long? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> this is in high school though, so it's not like... It's uh, like I mean, yeah, you were already like hitting puberty at that point. <laughs> Whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, what's your favorite game to play besides Rocket League? Even though I know you said you play this a yeah. lot. Um, Like if you were to say hop on another now, thing. As of now, it's probably like... Valorant. And I hate to say this, but like sometimes I play League, even though like... I just... Oh. Like League, like I hate the community, and I just like I don't like that I play the game, but it, like it's just fun to me. So I mean, I won't, it, but... I won't say that I wasn't a League boy myself at some point, but uh, <laughs> I was, and I, I mean, I haven't really jumped on it for a while. I'd say like two years, I haven't touched it, but I did, mm -hmm. I did, I did stop playing about four years ago, maybe even five mm -hmm. now. Okay, I'm getting old, <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know if you still jump on like Earth and stuff, or like no, I no Aram. I'm, I'm honestly, oh yeah, Aram. Honestly, like I'm, I'm pretty bad. So, <laughs> I'm pretty good at Valorant, but, but yeah, uh, I've never League actually played I'm Valorant. I've heard it's fun though. Yeah, it's fun. It's like what like all Rock League players like resort to. Yeah, I mean it's uh, good. It's probably good team building, like in a way. Yeah. Even still. And then I, I hop on like other games sometimes, like my my roommates to play like Minecraft sometimes. Just better so, words. So are you more of like an online kind of guy? Like you like like other people like communicating with stuff? Um, or can you get into solo games? Uh, I'm not sure. Honestly, I, I like playing solo like a lot. Especially for yeah. Rock League, I love playing solo. But. I feel like I had my fix of all the solo games when I was younger, and now like the online stuff is more interesting to me. But yeah, like, yeah. I still enjoy like games that could be solo, but you play with a squad. Like mm -hmm. uh, I've been playing Deep Rock Galactic a lot, mm -hmm. which is super fun. Um, but yeah, just I guess just like any chill games. Okay, what's the next question? We got, what's your favorite esports to watch other than Rocket League? I guess it's probably <laughs> Valorant. <laughs> oh, um, I don't even know what I like. Watch. Do you watch anything? <laughs> okay, you don't watch. I'm trying to think. Like, I mean, you don't have to have an about, answer yeah. if you just say you don't watch it. I mean, I guess Valorant, but yeah. Yeah, I don't really watch as much esports as I used to. I used to really watch a lot of CS:GO. Oh yeah. I don't know. I, I used to be big into CS:GO, but then I was actually gonna play it like over Rocket League. But then I got scanned on CS. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what'd yeah, you yeah. What'd you lose? I lost like my butterfly knife. Like, oh my no! <laughs> yeah, I swear. Like, no it was way! Bad. It was like it was like two hundred something dollars I lost. That would tilt so anybody, just, like, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. I got so tilted, and I just like stopped playing. Yeah, I used to be big into like, not the not the like the trading stuff in that game. Like mm -hmm. I tried to get a knife for a long time, like trade it up from nothing. I never actually did it, but. You did one of those videos here from nothing to, to knife. Well, I was just doing it without a video. <laughs> just yeah, just like just doing it for fun. But yeah, I, I used to watch uh, Anomaly and stuff, whatever his name was. With all yeah. like the crate openings and stuff. What do you like to do outside of Rocket League? Like outside of gaming, I guess. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it's all good. Um, honestly, I I go out like a lot. Um, I actually like to party a lot. Oh, you're a partier. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, you are in college. I, that's that's fair. yeah, exactly. And I I just showed my roommates like pretty much like every every day. I met them like last um, last year, and like we've been like super chill. So, um, what what college do you go to again? By the way, I don't know if you mentioned it. I go to um, University of Central Florida. Okay. So you, yeah, UCF. Actually, my editor just moved to Florida. Oh seriously? Yeah, I don't know how you know, close he is to that. Uh, no, he I don't know. Orlando. So. Uh, probably Orlando. You said. No, no, no. Orlando oh, is, is, is where. Okay, I see. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. It's probably around where he is. I mean, everyone kind of mm -hmm. moves there. 
I'm originally from Miami though. So. It's I, pretty. Uh, it's like what an hour drive. Oh, it's like four. <laughs> oh, is it really? I don't actually know yeah, how big. Yeah. Like I've been to Miami Florida's before. Florida's like huge. Like if you go from like South Florida, like Miami, all the way up to like North Florida, which is like Tallahassee. Right. It's like straight up like an eight-hour ride. Wow. It's pretty long. I mean, we used to drive to Disney World, uh, but it felt like most of our time was spent getting into Florida, and then Florida felt pretty fast, but. What method of training do you find the most useful? Individual, free play, team scrims, um, uh, for your individual self, like? I would, for me, as of now, definitely I've been playing a lot of ones, and I think like ranked in general is like really good. Usually by yourself because of the self-improvement, but um, also um, practicing, like forcing yourself to practice like new mechanics, I think is pretty important. Yeah. For sure. I, I like pra just like practicing like breezes and stuff. Like I've, even I've, though like I might not use it, but I personally find ones at the highest highest level to be like a little mundane. Mm -hmm. Like the way that people play. Yeah, like the air the air drill bumps and all that stuff. Yeah, it's, it's just like constant air drill bumps and uh, what's it called? Um, nice shot. I was trying to pop it off the <laughs> backboard. But this guy's rude, man. I don't want to score the last few fifteen seconds. He's a bully. Yeah, man. What the heck? Um. Yeah, I find that I don't really improve that much. I feel like I'm just doing sweaty. If I like want to like try to win the games, I guess I just find it's like sweaty, you know, mm -hmm. ground control and really tight air dribbles. Yeah. But like I do more crazy weird stuff in free play to try and improve my re recoveries and stuff. Yeah, that's that's good too. I used to sure. I used to agree that ones was better. I just think uh, maybe at the highest level you kind of have to just focus on doing what's absolutely the most efficient, I guess. Yeah, that is true. All right. But, um, oh, yeah. I was going to say something else. I, I was going to say scrimmages, obviously, too, because it, it depends, though. Like, if you're, like, hard coming in scrimmages, because sometimes, like, we just, like, screw around, and it's just, it doesn't help. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> are you, but, yeah, are you, are you, are you admitting that you don't take scrims 100% serious? No, 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 no. Uh, I do take them serious. It's just that sometimes, you know, those off days that like, oh, you're, yeah, just, yeah. Like, you're, you're tired and like, you're just not focused. Like, I, I, I totally yeah. feel that. I, it's the same with like just any day of Rocket League. I feel like you could log in at some hours of the day and mm -hmm. be cracked out of your mind. But then two hours later, you could be like really bad. But yeah, anyway, we'll go on to the next question. What's your favorite score you've scored in like, well, I guess <laughs> my, like, my, oh my, you're talking about goal? Yeah, like, like goal. in competitive, uh, I guess. Yeah competitive i mean um i don't remember like too many the final goal to score the uh the search i mean yeah yeah that one's a good one but like it wasn't like a, your like, favorite that good of a goal it wasn't yeah, yeah it, wasn't, it like, was clutch favorite. but it wasn't yeah, like it was a clutch. it was clutch my favorite would probably be this one oh, goal yes. i swear against like oxygen or like jamal jabari they were jamal jabari back back in the day but um Right, but yeah, it was like an RLCS one. Yeah, I always heard something moved. Oxygen moved to NA. It's so weird. So it was it was the goal against them. What was what was the context like of the? I think I'm trying to remember. I just remember it being good, but I it was like like a double tap, but I like missed the double tap. I'm so bad at explaining stuff. But, um... <laughs> it was like a fake double tap. No, it was a double tap that wasn't going in originally, but I got like a really good like recovery. I oh, I watched to, like, that on Twitter up. actually. That was a that was a long time ago though. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It I was... remember it being posted on Twitter. I don't remember it, what what uh, organization it was, but mm -hmm. they tweeted at the the shot. I think it might have been RLCS because I remember those RLCS. But... Mm -hmm. Alright, what what music hypes you up before uh, you know a match or a tournament, if any? This is a weird question because I actually like never listen to any music playing Rock League unless I'm streaming. That's like the only time I ever listen to music. Right. Or I'm playing ones because like whenever I'm playing ones, it's just like just a vibe. Please, please get, give me like music. Just like, <laughs> so you don't like, end like, yourself <laughs> in a ranked game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <Gosh>. Basically, yeah. <laughs> but um, I usually listen to rap. Oh, whoops, my bad. Now you're good. But there's some, there's some songs like sometimes like rock just hits. Like, I, I love the Beatles, like, I love that band. Oh, yeah. But, um, everybody does. But, um, oldie, oldie but a goodie. Yeah, yeah, But, I don't know. It's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was, but that was kind of crazy. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Yeah, that's 
So you don't really listen to that much music like while you're playing Rocket League? I mean, I, I don't really anymore either because I record like a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm basically having to not. I should probably figure out a way to uh, like split it so the music doesn't go. I can do that actually. The music doesn't go through the recording. But oh, I can okay. still listen to yeah, it. But I feel like I'm one of those people that would like hum. <laughs> Even if I... <laughs> Me too. Yeah. I yeah, yeah they would like be like, who? what is he? Why is he humming like that? <laughs> anyway. Um... Yeah, cool. Who was your favorite player outside of your team to play with? Like in ranked or in general? Like any games, I think. guess. But mostly Rocket I usually League. don't really like play with anybody. Oh shoot, is it team. me then? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, yeah. we, we've, played, we've played a few times. I guess. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I, I'm saying like, I basically don't play with anybody or I don't really talk to anybody like outside of like my, friend my small friend group with like tool and stuff so i don't really know you are a lot of fun to play with though because hey i appreciate I have, it i have a lot of i have a lot of space to do whatever i want usually yeah i, I just feel. i just give i'm an enabler man yeah, yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> i just like but, to um, vibe but yeah i mean i, like I guess it's like a, a f like you know risk technically you're not like on a team with him anymore but do you still yeah, play yeah. with him i don't he, do, he doesn't really get on the game too often, but whenever he does, I try to play with him. Okay. I like to solo the key a lot too, so. Yeah, I mean, solo queue is like where you can just like kind of grind it out. Yeah, exactly. Not on the schedule of anybody else. I'm not even like a tryhard in solo queue. I just like, I, I just vibe. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, we yeah we definitely vibe. That, that video was like <laughs> the most chill ranked gameplay I think I've had in, yeah. <laughs> in quite a while. Even it's these right, even these casual games. I'm not, I'm not like not even really paying attention to the gameplay, but it's just been been like that <laughs> <laughs> i won't lie I, I wanted to make a point and just like score that so i did focus for a second but that was pretty funny nice uh okay so the next question i have for you is what do you want to see come out of this career like are you looking to get into content are you looking to win a world championship i mean everyone's kind of i guess I'm, I'm definitely looking to get some con content out of it for sure because i have a really good like org backing up backing me up now and i feel like there's a lot of opportunity to, yeah, definitely to get, use like, definitely use stuff, that so. to like you know help. I like it was the same thing with me and Ghost is when I joined Ghost, and they were paying like a good salary to start off. Like we mm -hmm. didn't have really any major results to warrant being paid mm -hmm. that much. Uh, so I wanted to give back in any way I can by like you know helping them grow their org because they were quite new when we first started with them. Yeah, like I know they won. I think they won like uh, Gears of War. That was like their big thing. Mm -hmm. But then they got into other games and I wanted to make sure like that was one of the reasons why I started doing content was like to, you know, be part of a brand and help, you know, push them as well. And now now you're a beast. <laughs> and then, and, now, and now it's time for you to become a beast and <laughs> hopefully and we'll make we'll some see. make some good content, man. I, like I said, I think you have a really good voice for it, so I think people would love to watch you and appreciate your it. thought process and stuff. But I was also gonna say definitely like the competitive side too. I wanna I wanna be able to like win big yeah and like for your own sake like, like is it is it for like you know well it's it, it's for i i'm like i'm pretty much a team i i consider myself a pretty big like team player yeah so and that's actually why we vibe vibe really well because i like to do team plays like and keep possession yeah, yeah, yeah. And i think you have the same similar mindset so i can mm -hmm. i can definitely see that um yeah so it'd be it'd be nice to to win something big with the team the boys. cool yeah of course and now with like the motivation and stuff i feel like Carry off the momentum like, of uh, yeah, the, yeah. the search too. Oh wow, what is yeah, that? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where yeah. do you think you'd be, or what would you be doing if if it wasn't for Rocket League esports? I I would probably be. Hmm. I have no clear. Honestly. Like I mean, you're still in college. So, I mean, you'd just be kind of doing college and. Yeah, I feel like I'd just be doing like some school stuff. And like any cr extracurriculars you'd want to do and stuff, or no. I mean, honestly, I was I was a pretty good kicker in high school. My main sport was soccer, and I was pretty good at soccer too. And like, we went to state championship, but we lost whatever. But uh, I mean, it happens. Yeah, I mean, you, at least you got he, to the championship. It's... Yeah, I would say either I would follow up, um, with college soccer or become a kicker for football. Okay, cool. So, but being a kicker is so stressful that like I I, I don't even know. I'm, I could I'm do surprised that. you don't want to do something with your long arms. Your oh, normally long oh, arms yeah. that you lost. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, 
professional discus thrower. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, next question is, what would you say is one thing that no one really knows that comes with being a pro or like, you know, working up to being a pro? Um, there's definitely a lot of stress, but like, it's like good stress though. Yeah, it's like a stress that pushes you, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, it's like I want to perform, I want to become better. But I feel like people also don't realize that like pros like have a lot of fun too. I yeah, feel like, I feel like a lot of them, a lot of them think it's just competitive, competitive, and you get like bored of the game. But like, for me, I like never get bored of the game, and it's like always like a lot of fun for me. Yeah, you just like so. it's it's fun to chill in the game too. Like I find that that's one part when I was a pro that I didn't really do as much was just like vibe and like mm -hmm. casual and stuff, or like just have fun with friends. I did yeah. I, like I did do some private match boomer matches and stuff, but would have been good to do more unique stuff like what I'm doing now. On yeah, the like channel, like, and like stuff. custom, yeah, it keeps the game fresh and interesting. So you're from, uh, you're from Canada, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm from like around Toronto. I've been to, this in Canada, I've been to is Vancouver. Oh, I love yeah. Vancouver. I also, I also went to Montreblanc. Yeah, I don't even know Montreblanc. Mont Montreblanc. Yeah. Yeah. In Mont uh, Quebec. Yeah, I used to go skiing there a lot, but I haven't been there in a while now. It's a good, uh, good tourist attraction for sure for them because they mm -hmm. they have a lot of people from where, where I'm at, at they they all go up there for the winter. Got it. Yeah, but Canada's cool. Yeah, it's not as cold as people think it is. Like yeah, it, there's there's a lot like we basically I think it was like eighty percent of our of our population lives below the border of Canada and U.S. Yeah, I know there's there's a lot of like like just space up there in Canada. Canada's huge, so I'm assuming. Not a lot of people like live in like the the more northern sides because it probably does get really cold up there. But. Frigid, yeah, frigid temperatures like minus forty probably. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, that's something ridiculous. I've been in like Miami my whole life, so. Like, the temperature but you've but you've traveled quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, I've traveled quite a bit. That's good. But the, the temperature has never dropped like below sixty probably. Right. Maybe like fifty five is like the coldest I'd say. But, I don't know. Oh, oh my oh god, my dude, god. I'm, dude, I'm <laughs> peeking right now. <laughs> Who's playing yeah, casual? <laughs> I can tell you're gonna peek as you just like, yeah, fire for, like, like a second in. Caught that real quick. That was kind of nice. Uh, what would you say is your least favorite part of Rocket League and how would you change it? Or would you change it? Um, some of the competitive, um, like with uh, the splits, like in RLCS X. I feel like we're in like the best format. Oh, that's my bad. Got about it. It's all good. But um, some of the formats I didn't like. Like it was just like, too grueling, like too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was it was either like that, or it just didn't make sense to me. So it's, I feel like the like the competitive aspect of like Rocket League could be like improved a little bit. Right. It could it could fall along with like sports leagues pretty close closely. I would say. Yeah, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. But I guess sports leagues are really like. Like city based or stuff like that. Whereas yeah, Rocket League's kind of just whoever wants to become a team can become a team. Yeah, that is true too. But I'm not I'm not an expert with like esports or anything. Um but yeah, a lot of people have said uh demos, but they wouldn't change it. They just they just hate it, but it's like, you know, a fact of life. Yeah, kinda. I know. It is maybe don't make them as easy to get. I don't know. I think Sometimes the only thing I would broke, change is like the the smoke. The smoke? Oh yeah, that is true. Sometimes there's like a smoke screen. There should be like a setting, I guess. You could turn off the smoke or you could have it if you want it. But right. But they do say that they they, pretty, they did that on purpose. Yeah, I mean, it definitely... I, I kind of like demos. I don't really mind them. It's just, it brings another aspect to like Rock League that like you don't see anywhere else. Right, yeah, that's, that's fair. Like it is kind of cool you can remove a player from the game and like in and, and block and people. ruin the game yeah <laughs> and ruin the game is at the exact same time <laughs> that's funny uh, is there anything you'd like to see added to rocket league uh da, da, da. custom content custom content custom content, custom content. <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding what would you actually like to see like if it was for you personally that was funny uh, i would like to see a lot more celebrities I, I can't control this but 
I like to see a lot more like celebrities get into the game and like I know like that they have like the NASCAR and like the Formula One stuff they had like an event the other yeah, day. I thought cool. that was like really cool. Like I, I like like I like watching all that stuff. And I like when there's a lot of like attention brought to Rock League. Yeah, I liked um yeah. Seth Rogen and Sunless when they did that. I don't know if you saw oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, that was yeah, that was dope. That was yeah, dope. it was. I, I think it was Phase, right? They had like a charity thing. Yeah, yeah, bro. Seth Rogen's a beast. But yeah, man. Yeah, I, I like those those things. Fun. Snipe that. Bang. All right. Um, like any features you'd like in the game though, like uh, like gameplay wise, you know, rum or <laughs> rumble power ups or like. No, I actually hate all those extra modes. Like I cannot stand them. Oh really? The only thing I kind of like is hoops, but. So you're not a big like, custom. You're not a big custom guy then, like. The... I like doing like the custom maps, like, like the. I actually do the rings a lot. <laughs> not gonna lie. Oh sweet, yeah. yeah there's but, there's some really um, good ones. Like even the older ones that were first made are still like they stand the test of time for sure. Mhm. Mm yeah, but I like, cause, that's like practice. It's just practice, and I like practicing a lot. So. I guess I guess you gotta keep pumping in those those practice custom things. <laughs> yeah, just just I mean I'm trying to make more of those. It's so those are so much work. Like they're so hard to yeah, like, yeah. make it all work. Yeah, that, map, that map is huge. Like I don't know how you you did all that. But what, the the dribble challenge or the ice rings? No, the rings. The rings oh are yeah, huge. the rings are huge. The dribble challenge also huge too. But yeah, that one's like pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely I, I was in the middle of making a, I was in the middle of making a new one that's easier, but I haven't really finished it yet. I definitely cannot. I definitely don't have like the patience to do, to do that. I'm also not very like. I'm creative, but like when it comes to like, making all those things, I just wouldn't know how to do it. So, I, I definitely have improved a lot. But yeah, okay. So that's. I mean, that's a pretty wide range of uh, discussion around what could be <laughs> added. <laughs> I feel like yeah, definitely training would be like a new way to train for players would definitely be good, especially early players. Oh, you know what'd uh, be actually pretty dope if you have like, um, free play training with like. Friends. People in your party. Yes, yeah. people have talked about that. That's really cool. Like, That'd like a cool. little. I think any way to like connect to your friends through the game mm -hmm. um, would be a really good way to make things a lot better. Like being able to do what we do with Hamachi and stuff. Oh yeah. Because you can actually do like free play training with with players through Hamachi. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I remember back in the day I used to do a lot of like those custom maps, and I did. I, I did like the volleyball like a while ago. Dude, volleyball is so good. Like, Durzo, the guy who made that originally, did such a good job with that. Mm -hmm. I also did like some like half pipe, half pipe map. Oh like, yeah, the skate park one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was, was crazy. Cool. That's like huge throwback. Yeah, it was a while ago. Oh, I can double tap I that. Remember when I was like, I was like downloading the Hamachi thing. I'm like, am I gonna get like a virus or something? Like, <laughs> that was sketchy. Yeah. I, it, it was it's pretty good though it's pretty safe no yeah, yeah, yeah. um that was a while back then for sure and just to close it off for the last question what what do you think is next for you after rocket league esports i guess you um, as, this is getting I, maybe I would, a little existential for some people <laughs> <laughs> i would definitely i would definitely enjoy playing rocket league as much as possible but after it i would probably have to think about my career a lot i'm i'm a mechanical engineer major oh sweet yeah i'm electrical so, yeah. so oh, okay i can relate those are yeah those are not easy courses yeah it's not so i'd probably like focus my my dream is to work for like spacex that'd be like my my dream space <laughs> oh seriously yeah with That's the boy cool. elon yeah <laughs> my boy elon musk <laughs> Elon I Musk. did not expect Elon Musk to show up in this video, but he did. So <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, I mean, well, best of luck with your your studies. It's, it's cool. It. It's cool to see somebody who's like really balancing uh, school with like just becoming pro too, like RLCS. So thank you. Appreciate definitely, uh, definitely be smart and finish your your schooling. I'm definitely happy to have that on my back belt. Yeah, uh, for sure. And I definitely think it helped me too with my job, like making the maps and stuff, having engineering in the background. Oh yeah, yeah. Maybe so it's definitely really helpful. Like you'll have like really good problem solving. It's probably why you're like, really like, the way you look at Rocket League from what I've noticed is you're very analytical about it. Like mm -hmm. that you take your time, and I think that's like an engineering mind in itself. For Let's sure. go. <laughs> it was awesome, man. Brains. Thanks for thanks for joining in. It was a lot of fun yeah. chatting. It was a long recording. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, man. Have a good one. All right. Thanks you so too, much. Man. Catch you later. Appreciate it. Peace. Peace.